Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, when we gather each year to celebrate the two preeminent of the apostles, the two preeminent among those that Jesus sent out during his earthly life, we come to two very contrasting people. We come to these two contrasting people where there are differences in each of the ways that we want to consider them. We have one who is erudite, who is educated, not just educated, but personally tutored by one of the great teachers of the time, who was steeped in the law of his forefathers, who knew what all the, the, um, what the scripture was, what, how, what the proper interpretations were, and how to use this at every point. Then we had the fisherman who hadn't, likely hadn't gone to school, who was unlettered. We can see even in the letters that were written later that the grammatical, the grammatical record of this. <clears throat> Yet this one was taken to be a fisher of men. This is much more than a, the quaint term that it has become. Because to be a fisherman is one perspective, but it's a whole different perspective when you're looking at it from the perspective of the fish. The fish that has the, this hook and gets them joint out of their environment and taken into somewhere thoroughly different. Even Peter, likewise, was called the fisher of men. The one named for the rock, the fisher of men. And Paul also said, as one out, born out of due time, as he put it, both sent to take the gospel to where it hadn't gone before. Both sent to take the gospel in the days to take the gospel in the days of its infancy to where it hadn't been before. We remember them not because they are, not, not just because we can be named for them, not just because we can have their icons, not just because we can look back to genealogy and say they, they planted a church where, where my forebears are from. We remember them because these are but two of many examples of how it is that we should live the Christ following life. In whatever state we come from, whatever class we come from, whatever ethnicity we come from, whatever country, culture, whatever means we have of segregating one from another in our demographic studies. In each of these, we have examples of sanctity. We have examples of holiness. Where we can be taken from, from all that this world means. All that it means to be someone who lives in and for this world. To be someone who is a citizen of heaven, even without having been there. These are our great lights. These are our, our, our GPS on the route. This GPS, this thing that tells us not only where we are, but how we ought to get to where we need to go. These holy and all praise apostles give us just two <coughs> of the paths to reaching this final destination. A final destination that at one point or another we will all have to reckon with. So let us use these lights, let us use them as guideposts along the way that we too may follow in the footsteps of the apostles in every way that we may live up to this calling of being part of the holy and apostolic church. Amen.